We're all set to go then on the full Grand Prix circuit at Silverstone, one of the best circuits of the year for the British F3 International Series. Away we go, and it's a great start from the middle of the pack. There's a tank club, there's contact. Oh, Stephen Kane and Bruno Senna have made contact into the pit wall. They're not going any further. Alvaro Perez leads. Let's take another look at the start from on board Bakarut. So here we are in the Carlin car of Bakarut, and almost immediately the contact's in front of him there. Didn't really harm him, but uh, end of the race for the, those two drivers. Stephen, what happened there? Um, basically, I got off the start fine. Um, just uh, had a bit of wind spin, and Dan Clark came along and just uh, wiped me out and pushed me into uh, centre. So I don't, it was nothing to do with Bruno. He was just coming up the inside, but when uh, Dan hit me, it just knocked me into his, his path. So nowhere to go? No, nowhere to go. So here we have the start from another angle. We're looking about halfway down the field on the left-hand side. There you see Kane spear off to the right and collect Senna. And as, as the driver said, not really his own fault. Bruno, you looked a bit shaken up after that. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm okay. Just hurt my hand a little bit because the serial hit. I wasn't expecting to, to crash. It was very sudden, so I was still holding the wheel. But um, no, it's fine. So did you know what happened? Well, I think Ben squeezed him and they touched. So he, that was there. There was nowhere to go. If there was grass, I could have served to the grass. But I was just between the wall and him and... I was pleased, so it's a damn, the, the pity, the car is very damaged now. Yes, it does look very damaged. Do you think you'll get it out for the next race? Uh, yeah, for sure, they'll, they'll make a good job and have a perfect car for the next race as well. Mm. Okay, so here we have to start from a high angle. The black car is Dan Clark. He seems to make a great start and it's a closing gap that he puts the car through there. Of course, he doesn't want to lift off. He wants to capitalise on the start, but unfortunately... Uh